guys. Can, I, can we just take a moment, a moment to admire the, the threads? Wow, you, you look man. fantastic. Hey, man, for me to come to London and hear you guys giving me this, this love and, and, and compliments, man, it feels like everything, man. I'm just, I just had to come in the grey because, you know, London, we got the grey skies, you know. You know what I'm saying? I got to make sure they see, feel the vibes, you know what I'm saying? I got the trench coat. Came all the way from Trench Town with the trench coat, you see me? <laughs> yeah, we got it. I'm representing for my dad as well, Junior Marvin. He's the lead guitarist for Bob, and you know, I'm playing him in a film. I couldn't be no no better way, you know what I mean? And fabulous guitar work as well. Oh my God, he is the best. Sorry, Jimi Hendrix, but he's the best. <laughs> I love Jimmy, I love Jimmy. So how did you get involved in this project? Well, I actually reached out to them. Um, I seen, I seen, shouts to Karine, she casted me. Um, she's a Jamaican cast director, and she had it on Instagram. And shouts out to my sister, if you can see over here, Janella. She's the one who actually sent me the DM. She sent me a DM of the um, of the actual um, casting call. And I seen it. I was like, is this real? I know it's been like 30, 40 years since Bob passed. Like, when are they actually going to really do this? You know? And I didn't pay much mind because I was working on my album. My name is Dave. I go by Dave. I work with Tory Lanez as well. Um, I was putting together my album and I, and, I, and I thought about it again. I said, you know what, I'd be really disappointed if I had to go to the, to the movies because I love going to the movies and I love Bob Marley. So for me to go to the movies and watch someone else play my dad, I would have been appalled. I would have been like, there's no way in history I'm going to let this go down. You know, so I, I hit them up and I said, I hope you guys never picked anyone for my dad's role because that's my dad and I'm literally him. Like, ever since I was born, everyone would say, oh, you look just like your dad, you look just like your dad. So I had, I had a feeling I had something to do with fulfilling you know what I'm saying, his shoes and playing his role. So it was it's the best way to go out, you know what I'm saying, on the big screen, you know what I mean? Thanks to Paramount, thanks to the Marley family. You know? And um, it's great when the the main audience for this film is actually the people producing it in the yeah. Marley family themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was it like to have their confidence and know that they were supportive? Um, I mean, it was amazing. Sadella, she's amazing. Ziggy, he's amazing. You know, they're like my big cousins. You know, I've known them since I was kids, and it was it was like a reunion to see them again. And when they see me in the, in, in the costume, they couldn't do nothing but laugh because I look just like my dad. Like, Ziggy would laugh at me every time. Rohan, Rohan Marley, all of them. Every time they see me, just bust out laughing like, yo, I can't believe this guy looks just like his dad. Me and Aston, who played their father, exactly like, you can't tell us apart, I promise. And, uh, so did you do the premiere in Jamaica last week? Yes, I did. And I how, my, how was that? That was amazing because I brought my dad. I would have brought him to London. He would love to, to be here because this is his hometown as well. But he had a tour and he had um, you know contract, so he couldn't really go against that. Even though I was trying to get him out of it. But, you know, <laughs> he had to do what he has to do. But, you know, hey, I get to represent for my dad, you know what I mean? And um, it's amazing, man. And it's over 40 years since Bob passed. Yeah. His message, though, is still as relevant today as it was then. Yeah. What, what do you hope that people do when feel when they leave the cinema? You know, the thing is, when Bob passed, what well, he said to people, because they would say, oh, man, I can't believe he's dying. He said, you know what? Rasta never dies. And what he mean by that is that the music, the message is never going to die because it's God's music. It's John music. It's straight out of the Bible. And you cannot ever... You can't disown what's 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 true, you know, what what's good. Because when you hear it, it sounds good, it feels good, so you know it's good. You know what I mean? It's like it's like something's telling you. You can't deny that. You know what I'm saying? So there's no other artist that can say that has music that lives on as long as Bob's because the message is not the same. You know, his message is straight from God and, and it's powerful. You know what I'm saying? He's 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 wailing, just like the wailers. The name of the wailers means. As a baby, you come out crying, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's what his music is. It's crying out for more, crying out for love, crying out for one love, you know, peace in the world. Because the world is so, you know, this world needs this movie right now. That's all I'm going to say, you know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.